Hey Pretty Girl Club, so today I want to talk about the real reason why a lot of people didn't like the Light Girls documentary. I've noticed that when the Dark Girls documentary came out about 10 years ago, it was widely received well and it was accepted by the black community, but then when they made a documentary about the issues that light women faced, if you guys haven't seen it, it's a documentary that uh, talks about the experiences of lighter skinned women or even mixed race women. Uh, they had Tatiana Ali in there, they had Megan Good in there, they had like all kinds of people in there. So basically it was about MLS people and what our experiences are. And I've noticed that in the unambiguous black community, they said that it was unnecessary to have this documentary. Uh, they said that like basically our experiences didn't need to be talked about. And this is exactly why I am no longer caping for the unambiguous black community. Why would I cape for and listen to the experiences of women who don't want to listen to mine? The reason that a lot of women were mad about light girls is because they felt like those women in the documentary were talking about how they got mistreated for being perceived as pretty. Well, that's a real issue. Just because you're mad that you think that these women are pretty and you don't want to admit that you think they're pretty, this doesn't negate the fact that maybe they were beat up or bullied because they were pretty. This is a normal thing that happens in society. If a person views another woman as competition and that person is immature, then yes, they might bully that girl because they feel like that girl is more pretty or has more privilege than her. But I think that the real reason a lot of black women uh, were mad is because they don't want to admit that they themselves associate being lighter skinned or being mixed race with being pretty. They don't want to admit that. And so making a whole documentary that highlights the fact that people associate light skin or mixed race or quote unquote good hair or whatever with being pretty, they, they don't want to admit that because that's calling out their flaws. Like I said, if you're a mixed race person or you're lighter skinned, you are accepted by the black community as long as you stand up for them and as long as you make them look good. But as soon as you begin calling out the flaws in the black community, you are now the enemy. So as soon as you as a light skinned person call out the issues that you have experienced in the black community, oh, you're, you're overprivileged. You need to be quiet. You need to sit down because it's our job as mixed race people or as lighter skinned people, it's our job to simply build, look pretty, and be quiet. We're not allowed to talk about our issues. We are not allowed to talk about the traumas that we've gone through in the black community. We are not allowed to find healing of our own. We are only allowed to build and pedestalize unambiguous black men and unambiguous black women, and that's it. And then the same group of people wants us to turn around and cape for them and build their community and stand up for things like colorism, texturism, featureism, and anti-blackness. Meanwhile, the same group of people, they like to tell us comments like, oh, well, you're not that pretty. Oh, you're mediocre. You're a mediocre light skin. Oh, your hair looks like ramen noodles. Listen to all of these clips that I've heard of black women empowerment content creators and the things that they've had to say about MLS women. Light skins don't do shit. But then get all the praise, all the notoriety. And you guys are not fooling anyone. All of this, you know, fake kumbaya and we shouldn't be div divided. It's already that way. I am not here to participate in your unity facade in the black community. I'm not going to do that with y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to be fake. You know, this, this whole unity thing, it's not real. You're not fooling anyone. Like I said, the community singles them out anyway, in general, you know, and a lot of people say, well, that's usually for mixed people, not light skinned people. Listen, light skinned people who look mixed, you know, if that's what you want to call it, however y'all want to call it, a lot of them benefit from that. They feed off of that. So it's like, you know, and who is stopping light skinned women from making their own spaces? Shut your mouth, shut your trap, understand, try to listen, and that's all you can really do. Colorism be making y'all delusional. Colorism be making y'all delusional because the fact that this, this thing that looks like something from the land before times, this looks like something from Night of the Living Dummy. Y'all remember that Goosebumps book? Like, come on now, y'all. We was all reading the books back in elementary, middle school. Like, come on now. Colorism is something that ugly people need. Like, this is an ugly, like, collection of matter. I don't even want to call this a person because, honestly, it's just... What the hell is this? Like, it barely looks human-like. This is... Ew. Like, you gotta be joking. Gotta be kidding me, right? 
Colorism is something that ugly things need because they know that without colorism, it's going to be like, oh, like it, even with colorism, even with this ideology that that just having lighter skin makes you cute, you still look like a bowl of shit. So like what? I'm sorry, but oh, like if something, I don't want to say somebody because again, I'm not quite sure this thing is human. If if an entity of this caliber approached me in the club, I would have to smack this bitch just off the principle because how dare you? How dare you even breathe my air? Like, like, oh, you like, you know, you know, you ugly. You know, you fucking wrong. Like, I'll be so embarrassed if somebody just fucking ugly came up to me and tried to talk to me. I'd be like, you think I'm in your fucking league, bitch? Are you fucking kidding? This is a this is an ugly bitch. This is an ugly ass bitch. And it's just like, how do you even get to be this damn ugly? Like, clearly something in your damn chromosomes is crossed. Because, bitch, like I said, this is not even a human sort of ugly. You a disgusting bitch. Not even just an ugly bitch. You a, you a nasty bitch. Like, what the hell, bro? You know how many ugly light-skinned people I know? You know how many light-skinned people I've seen that look like goddamn Spongebob? You know how many light-skinned people I know that look like a goddamn spaghetti noodle ramen noodle ass bitch? Oh, I'll tell you straight up, they need colorism. That bitch need to uphold it as, as well as she can because she need it. Then the next thing that I'm going to say is, this bitch not even black. I don't know what she is, but I know she not no kin of mine. But someone came in in the comment section and she said, you know, Eloho, I feel like you don't like light-skinned women. We should all be equal. We're all black women. You shouldn't bash black, you know, light-skinned black women. You know, I said to her, I said, can you give me the timestamp of where I bash light-skinned women? Honestly, y'all, I'm tired of these mediocre i don't want no mediocre i don't want no mediocre no bad bitches only ain't no mediocre i'm tired of these mediocre basic basic y'all mediocre now i know these men gonna prop y'all up and tell y'all oh you pretty are you pretty you're not you're not the test results came back baby and you're not get a grip Get real. Just because you're light skin doesn't make you cute. And a biracial woman who literally looks like Gonzo in the face. This woman has had a rhinoplasty. She's had tons of plastic surgery on her body and still doesn't look good. I'm way darker than she is and she doesn't have one single feature that I want. Okay, first of all, can we agree that this woman really isn't even that light skinned? These goggles are a hot fucking mess the leave out on the top of her head it looks like maybe she has about four inches of fried hair it's not blending boo like i said i'm not trying to flame nobody kids but this girl is butt ugly like smacked you know what i'm saying but i noticed that sometimes light-skinned girls would not be pretty but because they were light-skinned they were you know they were like considered very attractive right and i would sometimes be looking at them like this bitch is ugly you know what i'm saying like what it's something that I noticed with light-skinned guys too. I noticed early that you ain't have to be cute if you was light-skinned. Light skin was enough to be considered attractive, right? This is the honest to God truth. I noticed that ugly light-skinned people are much more colorist than the pretty ones. Now, don't get me wrong, they all colorist, because I mean we live in a colorist society, so they've all internalized their superiority due to their skin color. You know what I'm saying? Looking at B Simone. She has the facial features of an everyday light-skinned black woman. She's the average everyday light-skinned black. It's not blending with your wannabe real 24-inch Brazilian wavy. And it looks like old weave. The most average looking, mediocre, basic looking light-skinned chicks. You know, it's always these basic looking light women. They're really not all that pretty. You, you walking in the store looking like a ghetto Beyonce Barbie. She is single. So the baby has pretty much told her, yellow bone out what he wants. It's not about hating on Meghan Markle or being intimidated by her or other mixed race women. It's because they have a silent agreement to exclude us. They have a silent agreement to keep their shit exclusive, to keep it white or keep it light or keep it mixed. Many of those women, along with non-black women, they love being exclusive. They love Love being elevated over you so my next tip is be selfish my platform it's about being competitive no matter how how much you come under my channel talking about how you know you're not intimidated and no other group of women can make you feel like shit well those other group of women are competing against you okay <laughs> they're competing against you they're excluding you be selfish like they are burn the fucking cape and whoever feels a way about it they're just gonna have to deal 
ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode of Is She Fine? Or is she just light skin? Let's get into the category, shall we? Light skin with light eyes. We have Giselle Bryant. Is she fine? Or is it just another case of light skin mediocrity? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she just mixed. But you tell me, is she fine? Or is she just light skin? The mediocre mulatto herself. Light skin women are no longer being rewarded the way they used to. She needs to rebrand. Is she fine? Or is she just light skin? Why do y'all think? Why do y'all think that skin color is what makes y'all cute? That's disgusting. Y'all tell me y'all got no personality, no brain, no common sense, no genuinity, no generosity, no kindness, no nothing else that makes you beautiful as a person. That the only good thing that equates to you, beauty in you, is your skin. First of all, how you talking shit about Chrissy, but one, you don't got none of her name. You don't got her name in the title. Pussy, this a punk move. You make shit talk in a video without your face. Come on, bro. This a punk shit. No one's jealous of y'all. Oh, are you dumb? So you think that just because you're light skin, the Lord blessed you with light skin beauty? No wonder she didn't show her face. You sound dumb. I wouldn't show my face if I was saying this stupid crap either. This is what y'all really be thinking? Wow. Yo, for the light skins watching this, I feel so bad that you guys have this type of woman part of y'all plan. Because this is making y'all look all types of dumb. This is horrid. What is she talking about? At the end of the day, I feel like humans, okay, especially bitches who think like this, need to reevaluate what it is that they think is beautiful on their own personal terms. Not what society has told him. Not what a, a, a fuck nigga told them, okay? Like, this is just horrible. Like, this woman needs help. She has to be trolling. She sounds so dumb, so uneducated, so anti-black, so disgusting, so discriminatory, so damaging. I don't think I could finish this video. I've never seen such ignorance in one fucking video. These videos get worse every single time you guys send them to me. What is she talking about? What is she talking God, if she say that shit one more time, I'm gonna throw my fucking phone at the camera! My platforms in general threaten light-skinned women with a loss of narcissistic supply. No one is mad at light-skinned people because they're beautiful or because they're light-skinned. We are mad, okay? Darker-skinned people are mad because you guys think like this and think it's okay. You guys do not acknowledge your privilege. You guys are disrespectful. Respectful whenever we talk about any of our issues, anytime we do speak about any of our issues, even whether it's in a you know, whether it's in a calm way or a loud way or whatever the case may be, it's always deemed as oh you guys are so angry, you guys complain all the time, you're just mad that you're ugly, you're mad that you're dark, you're mad that I'm light, and you're mad that I'm beautiful. No! We're mad because you don't listen. We're mad because you don't recognize that you have the upper hand in a lot of situations. You do not use your ability as a light-skinned person to do much of anything either. Why is it always dark-skinned women in the black community doing shit? You don't see many light-skinned people doing much of anything. Let's be real. You really don't. All the exposure. I think you can understand how that can make someone angry. You feel me? Like, I completely get that they may not understand because they never went through it on the other spectrum. But at this point, it's just common fucking sense. And I feel like a lot of people who think like this, including her herself, they just don't want to listen and they don't care. That's just what it is. Just say you don't care. I would much rather, I would respect the video ten times more. She just said, I don't give a fuck about y'all. I don't care about y'all issues. It doesn't affect me. But the fact that she's still sitting there like, oh, well, you guys are angry because they're, yeah, blah. like, shut up! Okay, honestly, this girl is so ignorant. It's disgusting. Y'all need to understand, like, her mindset is just, ugh. This woman is a bimbo. She's most likely insecure, and she most likely has only been complimented on her skin color because she has no brains, no common sense, and she's probably ugly as shit, but all she has is light skin, and that's why she thinks she's beautiful. This bitch is ignorant as hell. This is just extreme, and I can't, and I feel like I'm about to fucking vomit. That shit just pissed me off. I'm not watching this entire thing. Very rarely have I reacted to a video and not watched the entire thing. 
I'm very annoyed. I'm very disappointed. And anyone who thinks like this, and anyone who thinks like this, please fucking unsubscribe. Because that's disgusting as hell. Like, why do people think it's okay to think like this? I don't understand. I don't understand. It's like we're going to talk all this shit with not, without not one lick of your face in the screen. I'm annoyed. I think my blood pressure just skyrocketed. I'm just, I'm very upset. Like, I just can't believe that people really think like this. And then people will still sit there and be like, oh, well, no one thinks of dark skins any differently. It's all in your head. You guys are imagining things. There you go. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, what more can I say at this point? People swear up and down that people don't discriminate against people with darker skin tones, but there you freaking go. Light-skinned women behave or behaved or reacted just like narcissists and made it all about them they turned it all they turned it around on them and we see this we see something similar that takes place when it comes to you know when we just talk about colorism as dark-skinned women you always got a light-skinned woman somewhere you know turning the conversation on them right and right as if other groups of people light-skinned women included don't carve out their own spaces for things you know it's not the end of the world if dark-skinned women want to have a private space to block out some of the colorist noise it's either them reacting to losing narcissist supply or it's paranoia okay because everybody that we want to get away from in this space it's not just light-skinned women. It's society. It's black men. It's white people. It's other uh, non-black or non-dark-skinned groups of people. Light-skinned women, it's like, listen, I know that some of you are used to all of the attention being on you, but this isn't about you. This is one thing that is not about you. At this point, you know, some of y'all really are starting to look no like narcissists okay because any amount of criticism or exclusivity has you literally losing your mind acting like it's the end of the world it's just really getting ridiculous at this point okay so now that you've heard those clips why would i turn around and then cape for a group of women who talks about my heritage or my background or talks about people who share similarities to me they talk about me like that but i'm supposed to go and stand up for those people absolutely not what do you ladies think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty ladies.